We are in an absolutely huge field in Stockholm, Sweden. The perfect place to meet our next guest is Christian Sandstrom, who earlier this year set a new distance record with a golf disc. Christian, you threw a golf disc 250 meters. That's incredible. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Now, for our American viewers, that's about 820 feet, is it not, Christian? Yep, that's true. Now, you've been, this has been a goal of yours for a while to get the distance record, right? Oh, yeah. Tell us a little bit about how you prepared to set the record this year. Uh, during the winter, I'm uh, doing much weightlifting and such things with uh, many weights and uh, throwing uh, heavier and easier things uh, than the frisbee are. As medicine balls, you know, like uh, small uh, round weights, mm -hmm. looks like a frisbee. And uh, so the your body can get used to heavier and easier things to throw because you, you need uh, that to, to explode in your body when you are snapping the disc out. Now I know it's very important for you as a distance thrower to stretch out before you start throwing. Uh, could you show us some of the stretches you do to prepare before you throw? At the first I think the most important thing to do is to uh, warm up uh, 15 or 20 minutes before you stretch and then you stretch like 15 or 20 minutes then you throw and you begin with uh, uh, when you're throwing you are throwing with uh, a different parts of your body so you uh, are concentrating on uh, first at the legs at the first time and then at the end you're connecting all the bodies together and make a whole a whole style or the whole push up or run up mm -hmm. so that that will make uh, make so you don't injure yourself during the training. That's very important. Can you show us some examples? Yeah, sure. It's like uh, the lower to get your movement in your lower back. You are uh, like this, twisting around, so that the blood is going through the whole back. That is the first thing to do. And then when you are pretty warm in your body. You can go like this. And all the time when you are stretching, you can uh, do movements that like your, your distance style. So you can think on this. You can also, uh, when you are stretching and it's really, really warm in your body, you can have weights in your hand while you're doing it. Yeah. That will double the effect. But that's, that's not good in the beginning because the injuring risk is pretty big then. That's a pretty, uh, some example to do it. When you're throwing for distance, you're really using your entire body, aren't you? Yeah. And uh, my, my hips and all the stuff, that's the mo most important thing to warm up because if it's, uh, if it's something I'm injuring on the practice, it's almost always my, my hip and the back of my leg. So this is a good exercise of that. Like holding here. And if you have a friend with you, uh, the friend can press some weight here. Yeah, like this. Yeah, exactly. And you just, yeah, and hold that, exactly. That's very important because uh, that is your, your biggest muscle in your body. And if you get some problem with that muscle, you get a problem because uh, the hip power in your distance throw will minimize of a half or something. Mm. So uh, show me uh, the grip that you use, because is it, is it different than a, a standard golf grip? Yeah, uh, often you have uh, uh, this finger here, uh, or the control finger in your golf grip. Mm -hmm. So this is like this, and you control your, uh, your snap and your release in your hand with, with this finger. It controls your disc. But in distance, uh, almost everybody uh, is putting all the fingers in the rim like this because getting more power in it and uh, 
you don't have any finger in the way while you're throwing it. And this is actually called the power grip. Yeah. And are you are you gripping very hard? Yeah. And I think uh, I am gripping and uh, pressing my thumb thumb uh, more than everybody else do. I think many hold in the disc with a whole hand, but I think I th I'm pretty, you know, like relaxed in my hand. Really? Yeah. Okay. When I'm throwing, I'm just pressing it with my thumb. That's where I'm getting my spin from. Okay, so we have your grip. Now walk us through the motion. Okay. What, what do you do to get the big distance? Okay, sure. Uh, it's, it's pretty like a javelin throw. Uh, when javelin throwers are throwing uh, a javelin very far, uh, they are letting the power going from your legs and up. So when, it, when they're doing it in slow motion, and you can see it on TV, it's like a motion going through the body, slow. It's the same thing to distance. I have, I have uh, copied a lot of things from uh, javelin and, and those sports. I'll show you in slow motion. Okay. It's like this. Christian, thanks so much for uh, showing us uh, some of the techniques that uh, you use to break the world record. Thank you. It's uh, 820 feet. That's almost three football fields, folks, or 250 meters. Christian, amazing feat that you did. Now, if, if people are looking to learn more about throwing distance, where can they go? Uh, they can go to my uh, website I have. It's uh, www.frisbeeevent.info.com. And where is the big event each year for distance throwers? Uh, it's a dry lake between uh, Las Vegas and California or and Los Angeles. It's called uh, El Mirage, and uh, that's a big place to to beat the world record or some some personal scores. Big D in the desert in El Mirage, California. It happens every year. If you want to see the guys. Throw the big distance, that's the place to be. Christian, thanks again. Thank you.